Okay, here we have cosecant x minus sin x is equal to what? Well, we notice that we have the cosecant x. Let's write that as what? This is the same as 1 over sin x, isn't it? And then we'll continue. We have the minus, and then we have this sin x, isn't it? And now, how can we subtract fractions? Well, let's put down the sin x as sin x over 1, and we have to get the common denominator, isn't it? This is sin x already, this is 1. I have to multiply this 1 by a sin x, so that this will be the same as that. And don't forget to do the same thing on the top as well. So we multiply this sin x by this sin x. And this is what we have at the moment. And now, after we have done that, we see both of them have the same denominator. And when we subtract fractions, we know the denominator will stay the same. So let's put that down as all together, all over the same denominator, sin x. And then on the top, we have this 1 and then minus. So let's put that down, 1 minus sin x times sin x, that's sine square x. And as you can see, this is certainly not one of these. So we have to do more work for this, right? And we see that we have 1 minus sine square x. Do we recognize anything right here? Yes, we should. This right here is the same as cosine square x. And once again, we have to know these identities really, really well. This is the Pythagorean identity. Sine square x plus cosine square x is equal to 1. And this is another version to look at the identity. 1 minus sine square x is equal to cosine square x, right? And then we still have this over sine x. And now, what can we do to get this to become one of these right here? Well, we notice that this is cosine square x, isn't it? This is the same as saying we have cosine x, and then we multiply by another cosine x, isn't it? And now, you look at, we have a cosine x right here over this sine x. What's cosine x over sin x? Cosine x over sin x is the same as cotangent x. Okay? So the black part right here, this over that is cotangent x. And we still have another cosine x that's multiplying on the top, right? So we just need to multiply this by cosine x. This is it. The final result that we have is cotangent x times cosine x. And that's the answer choice A right here. And that's it.